Hello, this is Dad Rahman and welcome back to another video. Today is a very important lesson. I will be looking over business formulas. Business formulas. We've got over 10 to cover, so I'll cover them quickly. The first one is net book value. Now the formula for this is original cost or your historic cost take away depreciation. So what that means, depreciation is how much an asset, for example a van, a truck, anything a business owns decreases in value over a period of time and that's usually a year so how much an asset decreases every year maybe till 10 years 15 years we don't know maybe an asset at the start of the year start when uh, when it's brought it's 50,000 but after a year decreases by 2,000 pounds and that will stay the same each year so 2,000 and 4,000 6,000 8,000 and 10,000 until it decreases in value so the business will not longer no longer see it as that valuable and they just may sell it or They'll give it away. That's a good way of retaining profit. The second one is net current assets. That's straightforward. It's just current assets. Take away current liabilities. So current assets is what business owns for in a short period of time, for example a year. <coughs> current liabilities is what business has to pay back within a year. So sh both are short period of time. So short period. Short time frame. Short time frame. The third one is is net assets and that is non-current assets plus non-current net current assets take away non-current liabilities Now this is interesting because the words net and non. So the difference between net and non <coughs> is non-current assets is a long time. It's over a year. So it's what a business owns or a business keeps or what a business has to give back over a year. Maybe 15 months, 18 months, 2 years. And net current assets is just talking about current assets. It's just another word for naming it. And that's short time frame. Number 4. Is capital employed? Capital employed. So that is your net current as net profit divided by capital employed times by a hundred. Number five. We don't. I don't think we. I don't think we need to know this, but it's what is it? Balancing items. Yeah. Balancing items. Current assets. Net assets. Net, yeah. Current assets equals capital employed. Current assets equals capital employed. So 
So yeah, those are five formulas. I don't think I'm gonna space. <coughs> Actually, that's fine. For today, for today, we'll only do five formulas. I'll make another video on uh, a different section. This section is statement of financial statement of financial position. Statement of financial position. So that's P one, part one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time in a bit. Peace out.